Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Love It All More. We are going to be doing your May 2023 reading for Sun, Moon and Rising. There will be an extended at the end of the video if you're interested in that. Information is in the description box below and the link to that and the paper link is there. Okay, so we're going to do the sound bowl for a couple of seconds just to tune into the energy and then we will begin your reading for May. So if you'd like to take a nice breath in and exhale okay libra let us see what may has in store for you going to do a cult across this month okay we will start off with just a theme for the month but the cult across uh, and also we will clarify that just to see where you're heading for may please be mindful that energies are non-gender specific and this either resonates with you or it doesn't so use what works for you and leave the rest behind and if you do like this video please give me a thumbs up you can share comment or subscribe it's totally free and uh, thank you so much for watching and your support. Okay, let me just get... That was the freedom card that wanted to come up. <laughs> uh, okay, but let's do that again. My focus in here. Libra, what's a theme for May 2023? For their highest good, please. Thank you. Taking risks, taking calculated risks, soaring high above the sky and seeing, having the foresight and knowledge that um, you can actually get to where you want to go, okay? But you may need to take risks. You see, the eagle flies in a very desolate desert environment, okay? And he's on, um, the eagle's on its way to more fertile environments but as we know eagles have amazing vision and they can see um, uh, they can hunt for food at very high distances they've got the foresight they've also got the bird's eye view so it feels to me like you have a very bird's eye view over over your situation and it may require taking some calculated risks to get there but I think you're seeing the big picture and you're kind of going weighing it up and kind of going mm, I think I can do this spirit here is also saying to me get out of that little comfort zone get out of that little rut because sometimes you need a bit of a complete shift of um, environment and um, approaches to your work and your family and your love to kind of really shake something up okay which will have a long-term benefit it may mean that the immediate situation is a little bit kind of chaotic but if it means that you have to do that to get to where you want to go spirit is saying yes that's very very, very helpful for you for the month of may okay so we're going to do a Celtic cross. Please do bear with me. I will be laying out all the cards and clarifying them before I go through each section. Because I've noticed in the past, if I do, a, if I go through all the general energies first and then go back over everything to clarify, sometimes we can forget the, the exact position. So I want to be as clear as possible for you, Libra. Okay. Celtic cross for May for... Libra, May 2023. So I will show you all the cards. I'm just going to lay them out first. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> clarify them now and then we'll go through each of the cards okay not taking jumpers oh my goodness 
People may jump out, don't they? <clears throat> Whoa, these are really very slippery cards today. Okay, let's see what's going on here. to do with thoughts about finances and senses of security in the month of May for you. Right now in your position we have the King of Swords clarified by the Seven of Swords. Okay? i just show you now. Okay. So you are standing in your power at the moment. You're looking at the facts and the figures. Your goal here is to really look at the fine print, really look at the details, the facts and the figures, really kind of um, dissect it all to work out something. So I'm just getting a bit more, more comfortable here because I'm getting into this reading. Um, you really are isolating all facts and figures about your situation. There's definitely connection here to do with love. Okay, well, I'm talking about romantic love. Romantic love versus family love, right? And money. These are the two things that are you kind of really going to be exploring in the month of May. Where you're standing right now, you are with a fine tooth comb going through all your details as it relates to work, as it relates to your finances, and as it relates to the facts and the figures about a situation, all right? And with that Seven of Swords, you are looking to find something to, it's a thinking outside the box situation. Seven of Swords sometimes can be kind of lying, cheating, stealing energy, and it is coming up again for you, so we'll talk about that in a moment. But for this under the King of Swords, I feel like you're trying to find a way out or a way around the situation that will disarm any uh, backlash, confrontation. It's kind of like skirting around the um, skirting around the situation without uh facing it head on okay but it's also a card of strategy it's also a card of thinking outside the box okay um it's like for example say for say you really really want to do something you will find it you will you can you can create a million justifications a million reasons to do so okay um and it's not a bad energy it's actually quite it's actually quite positive because i mean in this in this deck over here yellows are meant to be kind of positive energies and I but I do feel for some of you this is the energy you're completely embr embracing um, and if it's not you there's someone very very closely connected to you is who is trying to look for a way to like a loophole in the law or a little sidetrack situation a side hustle something that is going to put you in a place of power okay but you are standing in your power because of that um uh because it's sword energy which is what you are okay you're air with libra you're all about balance and and looking at both sides of the coin okay so you really are trying to look for a way that is going to serve both sides without walking into sticky um getting into sticky waters or muddy waters all right the thing that's blocking you at the moment is i think um We've got the Six of Wands clarified by the Sun card. So what's blocking in your moment, the first thing that plopped into my head was the fact that that's the work that needs to be done now. That's the where the attention is at the moment. But uh, you're having too much fun. Like there's, there's excitement uh, around you at this time. This seems to me, with the Six of Wands and the, and, the, and the Sun card, this is telling me that the thing that's blocking at the moment is you are kind of, people are cheering you on, people are... Um, uh kind of acknowledging the work and the effort that you put in its buoyancy you may even be uh, promoted to some situation 
E. Okay, there is also something else. If you're working for a big company or big organization, it could be that if you find information that is um, not of the highest moral value within the workplace, there may be a deviation here. You may have um, leaders in, in the workplace wanting to you to shift departments, move departments, even through a promotion, so that you don't uncover some sort of element of truth that's a weird thing that's coming up for me okay the other but for the rest of you because obviously that's not going to resonate with everyone for the rest of you there is your your mindset and your mental body is fixated on um going through that small print and finding a vet like a clause finding a way out that is going to suit everyone and them in the least detrimental way possible but then when you've got kind of loads of people wanting a piece of you, loads of people want to kind of enjoy time with you and have fun with you and see the efforts that you have, it could, it can be quite distracting. That's the energy I'm getting. Now your focus at the moment is a seven of swords clarified by the ace of cups. So again, we've got that seven of swords. Okay, seven of swords, as I said before, can be a bit of a sneaky kind of energy. It feels to me that Part of you, so it could be the same thing that you're dealing with, with the King of Swords energy, with your energy and your power at the moment. You are wanting to bring in a new beginning, a new love, okay? So it could be new romantic love, it could be a new position, a new job, particularly if you are being promoted, but actually like, nah, you know, you can promote me, but I'm going to leave the job anyway because I've got my mind. I set on something else and it shows me that you are trying to embrace something that's that's a brand new beginning really heartfelt okay but you're having to do it um, behind the scenes you're having to do it you're having to kind of not tell anyone about it and just kind of see if you can set it up or without anyone um, being aware of it for now because the focus really is on that ace of cups right in your conscious mind but more so is your approach. How do I try and bring this in and experience this with the least harm done to others? Okay. And I feel like you want to just sort of also sort it up within your own self first before you can kind of really present it to your close one, your loved ones, um, your your you know your tribe, your for your family unit, or your friend unit, or even your workplace. But there's definitely a wanting, a kind of finding out, well, I'm going to spend some time on my own here um, doing a bit of research on this other position, this other job I'm interested in, or this other hobby, or this other person that I'm in, involved in. Um, and you're kind of doing it, you're keeping it to yourself because you want to work it out. You want to kind of figure it out. How feasible is this? I know that because we've got this like seven of pentacles coming up too. So it's really kind of you're trying to gather the information connected as well to that king of swords you're trying to gather all the information before you kind of let on to anyone else where your heart is moving towards okay now in your subconscious area of thought we've got the four of um so this is like stuff that's niggling at you but you can't quite put your finger on it four of cups with clarified by the page of ones this is telling me that in your heart of hearts you are kind of recognizing that um, you want more. There is more to life that you want to experience. You feel not 100% emotionally fulfilled at this time. And while you don't want to rock the boat, you are kind of calling in that fourth cup to come in. Fours in numerology talk about earthing something, bringing something to the ground, bringing it into the physical reality creating a solid foundation you want your heart your heart center your emotional body to feel a bit more solid and secure okay and up until now you've been feeling a bit kind of like something was has been missing now you it's clarified by the page of one so i do feel like you are going to get a message this could be relative to work but ultimately it's relative to passion so passion as it relates either to another person in your life, okay, that's coming on in, or news of, an, of a hobby, a venture, a project, a job, 
uh, a new direction. News is going to come in regarding that, that is going to set about this fourth cup, uh, bringing in to create more foundation within the heart space, okay? So I feel like you're kind of picking up on those energies anyway. You kind of know it's in the ether, all right? Now, your immediate, uh, your immediate past was the hanged man clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So there's been something that you've been kind of addressing in your immediate past about what are the things that I need to do to become as resourceful as possible? How do I set myself, um, it, it's like you've taken some time to recognize what are the things that I need to do, where's the enlightenment and working out where my sense of stability lies as it relates to my home, my domestic environment, can I work from home, what does resourcefulness mean to me, does it represent money, does it represent kind of access to contacts, um, connections with other uh, people from different avenues, different walks of life to enable that whatever I, that whenever I'm in a position where I want to maybe change something up or invite something new into my life, that I will be accounted for. I will be kind of stable, okay, and I will have a solid kind of home environment in order to do this. These are the things that you've been trying to kind of wrestle with in the immediate past. The immediate future is you really are taking a very closer more deliberate look at that, particularly coming out of that King of Swords energy of really isolating all the all the, the final details. So as I was saying, the King of Swords is really kind of shifting through with a fine tooth comb. What is the thing that I put in and what is the thing that I get out? What is the thing that I put in? What is the thing that I get out? It's like this, okay? Like your energy, you are, you know, the Libra card is, is a justice card. So this is what you're assessing. With the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Six of Pentacles. You are kind of working out within yourself. Now this, this is basically, even though it could be mostly work related, I feel like it's hitting you in the money side. It's hitting you in, um, it's relative more so to your finance, to your assets, to your physical materials, okay? Um, you're looking at the situation kind of go okay well I've worked this this I've worked this hard and this is this is what I get this is the trade that I get this is the the harvest I produce from all that effort I put in okay and then you kind of say I'm not so sure it's balanced because even though the six of Pentacles does talk about equal give and take and sometimes even a blessing of money if you look closely at the card the one child I hope it gets in focus there the one child gets more money than the other, okay? So you're starting to recognize, you're like, hmm, the effort I'm putting into this, if I really now assess the harvest, now that everything's come to fruition, and I'm there with my, my magnifying glass, my fine tooth comb, and I'm, I'm looking at it all, right? You're like, hmm, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure this is equal exchange here, and you're all about balance, right? So um, I think you kind of, you're like, ah, if I'm not getting the equivalent of, um, in monetary terms of what I put in to my work, this could also be a uh, metaphoric for relationships as well. So you, uh, see it as it resonates, okay? Take it as it resonates for you. I think this is a reason why you really are getting the facts and the figures straight. And that's why it kind of reaffirms within you that area of the heart space where you're wanting to bring in this new um, sense of love and emotional balance within yourself, but you don't want to tell anyone about it because you're still kind of doing the background work. Okay, you're doing the background work. Now, your attitude at the moment towards the month of May is a King of Pentacles clarified by the Four of Swords. So now we've got the Queen and King of Pentacles turning up in your reading. This is really talking about King and um, Earth signs in that respect are really kind of talking about where do I feel secure? Where do I feel stable? What is my sense of down to earthness, my, my physical assets, my how I make things happen, my methods, my approaches, my practical down to earth nature? Okay, it's like looking at that. Is that stable? What is the security in that? 
and what your approach is now is for the most part most of you it's more like sitting in the energy of I I recognize that I, I require a bit of healing within my heart space because I feel like I've been there's been something missing and so the practical approach towards that would be to maybe uh, do something nice for myself maybe I'll go for a massage maybe I'll just um, find go away for a couple of days go to a nice hotel just be good to myself finding those practical approaches to personal healing Okay, maybe I'll write in a journal. It's like looking at knowing that it may take you some time to get there because the King of Pentacles is in no rush. It may take some time to do to do that. But knowing that if he does it this way, this way, this way, and this way, it's a sure result that he will be able to rebalance himself. Okay. Now for some of you, your attitude could be focused on another person who is represented as the king of uh, pentacles. Male or female, it doesn't matter, but there could be someone very close to you in your environment who um, your approach is, how can I support their healing? okay as best I can what are the methods I can embrace to help them heal that could be for some of you the, the full-on attitude like every decision I make is going to be based around that okay your environmental factors at the moment is the hermit clarified by the ten of cups so this is your environment and the people around you you are really doing some soul searching this month about what happiness means to you at a soul level, okay, at a deep level. You're really questioning within yourself. You really are trying to gain wisdom on what happy ever after means to you. What is ultimate fulfillment to you? Um, in my home life, in my family unit, um, what is my ultimate happiness? And you really are doing the, the work this month internally to figure out what that is. It does mean that um, that you may experience certain elements. I feel like in your environment, you are going to be seeing snippets of the best case scenario and the worst case scenario. I think it'll go a little bit like this throughout the month of May to enable you to really get to the depths of it. So you're not just seeing it through rose tinted glasses. You're not sort of seeing it with any bias attached. I feel like you're going to get a snippet of um extremes but in small in small doses which informs the internal body to kind of go okay i want to be very clear about the contrasts here so that i know what it is really for me so it's quite massive libra now your hopes and fears we've got the six of pentacles with the ace of swords your hope at the moment is to get to that space of um, equal give and take your desire your wish is to is is as it relates to money as it relates to work as it relates to love whatever the case may be is there equal give and take because this is the thing it's the same card as us here with the six of pentacles this is a thing that you have been addressing anywhere earlier on in the month so the ultimate question is I need to find the clarity, I need to find the truth regarding what I put in, do I get out? I'm all about equal give and take. You are the justice card after all, Libra, okay? So the hope is that the energy that you put in, you will get reciprocated, either in, in whatever form it plays out, uh, loving gestures, um, physical finance so it's all about really kind of your desire your hope is to see that and I, I think you're gaining clarity on that the fear is obviously the opposite the fear is after everything I put in am I actually going to reap the rewards um is it actually all worth it and I feel like saying effing worth it is it all worth it so that's that's the thing you want to get to okay that's the desire but the outcome for the month which is really funny is um, the Queen of Wands and she's clarified by the Queen of Wands okay so the reason I say this is funny is because it's so um, so connected to this taking risks card okay the Queen of Wands is very feisty she's very driven and she will 
do whatever it takes to get what she wants. She is, um, she's uh, male or female doesn't matter, but I feel like by the end of the month, you are like feeling so self empowered at this moment. You are feeling very attractive. Other people are noticing how attractive you are. You have a ballsiness about you, brazenness about you by the end of the month that no, nobody's going to really want to mess with because it feels to me like you've itemized what that new that new thing that's going to bring you ultimate happiness is i feel like you're kind of going no, no no i want that i want that in my life because i'm not going to just settle for something that's kind of all right i would like more and so as you are spending the whole month evaluating every aspect of your life with what happiness represents to you what you're given what do we actually get out by the end of the month I feel like you've just got such a fire in your belly that you're like, okay, well, I'm not going to deal, I'm not going to settle for second best. I'm not going to settle for um, crumbs. I'm not going to settle for uh, someone who doesn't appreciate the, the effort I put in because I've been in my king of swords. I've looked at the finer details. And when I come up with the sums at the end, it doesn't add up. So now you really are fire by the end of the month, which is quite funny. And I feel like it's going to be enabling you to take a really calculated risk. So, I mean, if you just look at these cards, they're so kind of male, divine energy, solar plexus energy, all those oranges, okay? These things are really hitting you in the root chakra, which represents your protectedness, your sense of security, your sacral chakra, chakra orange which represents your relationships to yourself and to others and your solar plexus chakra which talks about how you drive forward how you are motivated forward you are really kind of using those energies quite animalistically as well to figure out and to uh kind of ensure that people are not taking advantage of you all right Libra, <laughs> and you're not really, I mean, you don't normally come across, you don't normally um, get so fired up, Libra, because you're usually such a diplomat, you're usually so understanding and caring, and it's not to say that you, you still won't be, um, it's just that this is a little bit out of, this is just an extension of you, this is like you um, getting fired up about something, and it's, it's just quite exciting, and uh, you could expect that kind of energy from a Leo on Aries for sure but from a Libra <laughs> it's nice I like it uh, oh wrong wrong deck we're going to end this reading off with an oracle card before we move on to the extended okay so what does Libra need to know about this reading please for their highest good May 2023 <coughs> excuse me oh thank you priestess how are you being called to step up and lead? So the Queen of Wands energy is a leader as well, okay? Taking risks is taking the lead in something. So you are really asked this month of May to really step into your power, okay? This is a time not to make excuses for yourself. This is a time to be leading with example, okay? Being fired about something, fired up about something and charging forward. The priestess has a lot of wisdom. You, you've gained that insight over the, the, the month of May. You are being called to actually go where no man has walked before. And part of that is taking the bull by the horns and empowering yourself. And as you do so, you give people you love the permission to do it too by leading by example. So you are meant to be moving more into a leadership role. Maybe at work, but maybe it's also just within your home environment and with your finances. It may have an element of taking a calculated risks, but if anyone can do it, you can this month, Libra. Okay, so I am going to be finishing the, this off now. I'm going to be moving into the extended reading and I'm going to snoop around. I'm going to find out a bit more about this Queen of Wands energy, what that risk you want to take is. Okay, I'm going to delve a bit deep with that and get some advice from Spirit about what you need to know about any sort of calculated risk that you'll be taking in the month of May. So for those of you who are interested, it is an honesty box feature. 
The link to that extended reading will be in the description box below. The PayPal link is beneath that one. So otherwise, I'll see you there. If not, I will see you in June. Have a wonderful month and enjoy your week. Take care. Bye.